Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to go ahead and work on my responsive navigation menu. Okay, so I've got this page already started from the previous video. I've got the HTML structure done. So the next course of action is design the navigation menu for mobile users. Mobile users will include phone users and tablet users if the tablet's in portrait orientation. So the plan is to have a hamburger icon or an icon over here on the side of the nav area. And when that is clicked or tapped, then the nav menu will just fill down and take up this full space right in here in the uh, main section, just covering up that main section. And they're going to be big menu items. They're going to be as wide as the screen, and they're going to be nice and chunky and tall. So there's plenty of room to select them with a finger. OK, so I'm going to head up into the style area, and I'm going with mobile first. Where is my mobile first? So here we go. So these are, this is where my media query is for smaller devices that have at least a width of 300 pixels uh, device width. And I'm going to work right in here after footer. And I'll go ahead and take these in somewhat of a logical order. The first thing that started to appear in my nav is basically going to be my uh, my uh, menu icon. So I'm going to go ahead and control that. Let's see, I think I call that menu icon with an ID. And let's see, I'm going to do a display block, make it a block element because it's an anchor, therefore it's inline. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a width of 60 pixels and a height of 60 pixels. So it's a nice little square. I don't want to go too much smaller than that, by the way, because <coughs> I think I've read before that pretty much about 50 pixels is a minimum for a person's uh, fingertip size. So let's try to make that just a little bit bigger than that. And I'm going to put this over on the right. So I'm going to float it over to the right. Now I'm going to get a little bit of margin, 10 pixels top and bottom. Let me spell this right. 10 pixels top and bar bottom, which is going to be OK, because my nav area is 80 pixels tall. So if this block is 60 pixels tall with 10 pixels of margin on the top and the bottom, then it should look like it's vertically centered in the space. So that should be good. And I'll go ahead and put something bigger, like uh, 25 pixels on the left and right. So that way, it's not too, too next to the right edge. So it's going to be a little bit off of that right edge. Remember, float right is going to put it over towards the right. So that'll kind of take care of that. And um, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Oh, I need the, the actual shape cell. So let me do this. I'm going to do a background image repeating linear gradient. OK. And what I'm going to do here is I'll do 222. Two, two. Then 222 two, two again, but for 12 pixels. And then I'm going to do, uh, I want to do something. Uh, actually, I'm going to do transparent. And I'm going to do that for also 12 pixels. And then transparent for 24 pixels. <clears throat> now, there actually is a bit of a method to the madness with these numbers that I'm picking. Basically, I'm going to be creating stripes that are 12 pixels thick. And you should be able to see five stripes. There should be three dark ones and two transparent ones. A total of 5, 5 times 12 is uh, 60. The height of my block is 60. So Control S to save, head on over to the browser and refresh. Ignore all this other stuff there. But we can see now I've got this hamburger icon, which of course is clickable, because that's a it's a big hyperlink right there. So three stripes, that's a pretty standard uh, format. Now, I can see the word menu over there. And I kind of want to hide that, but I don't want to just delete it. So my menu icon. I, because I used italics tags, if you can recall, I used italics tags to wrap the word menu there. So let me head over here, and I'm just going to put a big padding left of 999 pixels. And that pushed it way off to the side. But you notice I got this big horizontal scroll. And there's that word menu over there. Well, I certainly don't want that to happen. So I'm going to head back over to my menu icon, and I'm going to put in overflow hidden. So anything that's outside of the boundaries of that 60 pixels by 60 pixels will go away. Save, browser refresh, no longer have that horizontal scroll. I can't see the word menu, but I do know the word menu is there. And now I have a nice little uh, clickable hamburger icon. So that was pretty easy. 
So now for the actual navigation menu, and I'm gonna place it down here in the main section just below the nav. So when a person clicks, the big, main menu, the big menu is gonna show up right here, taking up the body of the page. Okay, so let's see, this is my, I called it main, what did I call it, main menu. So it's ID main menu, perfect, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a hashtag main menu. Now I want to position this very precisely, so I'm going to do a position absolute. Now since I'm going to be positioning it absolutely, its parent needs to be position relative. So its parent that I want to position it based off is the nav. So I'm going to head up to my nav rule and put in position relative. I'm going to position absolutely within a relatively positioned container. So now when I position this main menu absolutely, I can say I want it to be 80 pixels from the top, zero pixels from the left, and I'm gonna give it a width of 100%. So 80 pixels from the top because my nav bar is 80 pixels tall. So when I refresh this, we can see that that, me that menu is showing up just beneath the nav area. It's exactly what I want. Now I'm gonna have some big rectangles there to represent that. Um, let's see, my main menu is also an unordered list, so I'm going to go ahead and do list style type none to make sure there's no bullets showing up. And now I can move on to the list items themselves. My main menu list items. Now, these are already block elements, so no big deal there, but I want to make sure they're nice and tall. So I'm going to give them 60 pixels of height. There we go. And then I'm going to head down to my main menu list item anchors. These are the anchors within my list items. Now I'm going to have a number of different attributes in here, so let me go ahead and put in a few declarations that will uh, style these anchors. There we go. So what do I have in here? Display block. Anchors are inline. I want these anchors to be block elements, and I want them to be 100% wide and 100% tall so that they fill up the space of the list item. Text alignment, font size characteristics, color, it's all aesthetics. Text decoration none gets rid of the underlining, background colors aesthetics. I did put a little transition effect on here because I also have a hover on background color. So control S to save, browser refresh, and now we can see this menu is really big and tall and chunky. So that is the basics of my responsive navigation menu. Now we're certainly not done. Um, I think what I'd like to do next is get it so, so that this menu is hidden and then it'll display when the user clicks the hamburger icon. So coming up next.